Hi and welcome to this tutorial about Edrum on Ubuntu 14.4. I use version 3 of Ubuntu 14.4. So if you use another version, you maybe need to do some alteration. I will do this tutorial for Linköpings University. If you are studying at another university or are an employed or any other institution who are linked to Edrum, you may need to do some changes. Liu not support Ubuntu officially, but they have supplied you with the necessary settings on this page. I will give you the link to the page in the description below. What you need is of course the name of the network, type of security, a root certificate, which type of authentication method, which type of inner authentication, your username, your anonym username, which are the same for all employed and student, and of course your password. I will not go in deeply in how Edrum works and so on, but when you use Wi-Fi at home, you have a pre-shared key. But Edrum used the enterprise solution of Wi-Fi, so you have username and password instead that are the main difference. After you have configured Edroom on your computer, the computer will log on automatically. To verify that you not are a victim for a man in the middle attack, you should use a root certificate which you download from this page. Also verify that you get the certificate over an encrypted connection so you not have a false certificate. If you want to know more about man in the middle attack, I have a clip about that too. You will find the clip in the description below. We are now ready to start step zero. The two things you need to have in your computer and that should work. Number one is of course a working wireless network card. I use Wi-Fi from my home network for the moment, so I have a working network card. If you not have a working network card, you can skip the rest of tutorial. Edroom also dependent on your system clock actually go right. If you are off by more than one hour, you will not be able to log on and the system will not work, so you must have a working time, so make sure that you have the right time in your system clock. So, step zero, working wireless network and the right time and date on your system clock. If you not have a working internet connection at home, you could use the open wireless network at university called NetLogon. The name for the wireless network is Liu and you log on the network from a web page with the help of your Liu ID. Now when we have a working internet connection we should download the certificate. I will use this certificate. I have tried that certificate 2 on an older version of Ubuntu that work well too. But I use this. I use a right click not the left and save link as and save. It actually a text file and the saving will go quick and easy. Time for step number two. In this step we should get hold of the username and password for Edroom. 
Liu use a separate system for logon on Edrum because it is an international system so even if the password will be compromised they will not get access of your Liu account only access to your Edrum account you will go in on this site to get your Edrum password I will open it in a new link and I will log on and I will of course not show you my username and password I work with a Leo card and a Leo ID so I have more choices in this column but down here you will find wireless network Edroom password click on that link and now you have two choices you can create a new password or you can show your password I already have a password so I choose show password if you want to create a new one for maybe because of your mobile phone have been stolen or something you can simply click a new one here so I click show and I will see my password and username and of course I will not show you my password and username time for step 3 when we should start configured Edro, we cannot longer have access to internet so we need to save important information before we do it this side contain important information I will simply print this side to a file um, yes we use that name I should also save the link to the file and for some reason I have already prepared a file for that and a place to store the material this is a text file so it will be readable even in terminal environment this address maybe can be of interest in the future this file I now created will I of course use later on if I get into trouble and need to access the information a second time this is important uh, link to have so I save that to this text file and of course my username and password that should be also saved to the file so now we close the file and of this we can log off here and close and we don't need this either and that have we say we should look up the PDF file on desktop and there we have all important information move that to our Edroom folder in here and we should also make certain that we get the certificate we have in the download we need that too later on now we have the certificate information about username and password and configuration settings we can now log off the wireless network and move up to the university and continue 
with the configuration over there. I should also say that I have a hard drive which are encrypted, so even if they steal the laptop, they will not get access to this file because they are encrypted inside the hard drive. So I stop the recording here, and next time we will start up at the university and start configuring Edroom. Hi and welcome back. I'm now at my university and it's time to try to log on. Simply look up Edroom here in the list and click Edroom and now you get the windows. On the authentication here, hold on and this is the type you should use. You should have an anonym identity that we have here, let's see if I can get it. Right. The crop come with that could be fixed later. We need the certificate and that we have saved in that folder. And there we have the certificate. This should you leave on auto. This is right. And now we should fill in the username and password. And that should I, of course, not show you. So mark it and simply copy and paste. Password. Click on show password and I can verify that I have the right password. All right. Now click on connect and it will take around 10 seconds. And there we have a connection. Let us now test if we have a working connection and of course we should try the web browser. Hello in Swedish. Yes. The next step for me is to simply stop the computer and see if the computer log on automatic as it should do. So I can stop the recording here and we come back when I have restart the computer. Hi and welcome back. When I should log on, I get a question for the password to Edroom. But I simply click abort and log in, and after that, the system logged on Edroom faster than I could start the recording. So, yes, the automatic logon worked alright, but I must add the, the password on more places in the system to get truly automated. That was everything I had to show you. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.